Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you come in. Well, now that you're here, I guess I can show you how to make another Halloween DIY. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little guy. For this DIY, I was inspired by just some Google searching or Pinterest or something. I don't know. I saw it somewhere. And I did look around on YouTube a little bit to see if there were tutorials. I found a couple, but they were a little bit different than mine. Uh, the one that was closest is Bargain Bethany. It did a video of a bunch of Halloween DIYs, and she did do a skeleton similar to this in hers um, with the Dollar Tree skeleton in the Dollar Tree tub. Uh, mine's a little more extra because, you know, I like to overdo everything. But I guess you could give her credit for this because it is the same base items. Let's take a look at how I did this. I'm starting off with one of these adorable bathtubs from Dollar Tree. Looks like somebody already used it. There's a stain inside. Gross. Anyway, I decided to take the feet off the bottom of the tub. So I want to put my own feet on the bottom to make it look more like an old-fashioned clawfoot tub. So I'm just using my wire snippers and my scissors to do that. Now I'm going to make my feet. I'm using some Fabri-Tac to stick some beads onto a toothpick. I put my Fabri-Tac in this little bottle because it has a precision nozzle on it, but it is hard to squeeze. And after I glue the beads to the toothpick and let it dry, I can then snip off the excess toothpick. And I'll be making four of these. Well. I already made the first three. You can see them up in the top left corner there. And it doesn't matter what color beads I'm using because I will be painting over them later. Next, I'm going to take this skeleton from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it up so that I can fit it into the bathtub properly. You can also see here that I had added a faucet to the tub. I didn't include that footage because I end up hating the faucet and removing it later, so I just didn't even bother to show you how I did it. But it was made with black epoxy sculpt which was giving me a hard time when I was using it, so it didn't come out quite the way I wanted. And then later on, when I start to add the rest of the skeleton, I decided it looks just a little bit, uh, phallic. <laughs> so I made the decision to remove it. And here I'm just deciding how I want to position my skeleton. I want to put the arms over the top, like, their hands are folded, so I'm just going to cut off some of the excess bone on the end there so that I can get those arms into the correct position. And now I'm gluing in the legs. You can see here that I'm just gluing in the bottom half of the legs. I decide later that it looks funny, and I do remove that and put in the whole leg, but we'll get to that in a bit. Now I'm adding my bubbles, which I'm just using polyfill, the stuff that you can make pillows with. I had a bag of it laying around, so I decided to use that, but I'm sure that you could use cotton balls as well. And I'm also gonna put some on top of their head, mostly to cover where the hanger part on the skeleton used to be, but also just cause it looks cute. Why are you getting so close to me? 
I can't film you if you're in my face. Don't show us that. Thank you. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, so fluffy. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh. Oh. And now I'm just going to paint over my feet and the bottom of the bathtub. I'm using black acrylic paint. It's the, uh, gra uh, excuse me, it's the black craft paint by Arteza. Apparently I can't talk today, but it's late. I'm just going to go with it and try not to have to do too much retakes of my voiceovers because I want to go to bed. Anyhow, I go ahead and paint the entire underside of the bathtub black because I wanted it to look like a old-fashioned uh, wrought iron tub. And by the way, the feet I just hot glued onto the bottom, but if I were you, I'd probably use some E6000 so it's a little more permanent. And I'm taking the same craft paint and just darkening the features on the skeleton's face so that they pop out a little bit better. And then I'm going to take some water and water down some of the paint so that I can age the bones as well. So any little areas that are recessed, I'm going to fill with the watered down paint. And then I'm taking a wet wipe and I'm wiping away the excess. And I'll do that around um, all of the inset features like the ribs and so forth. And then also the ridges on the face and in the joints of the skeleton and all of that good stuff. I would also recommend you do this before you put your bubbles in the bathtub. I was not really thinking and I already glued my bubbles in and then I had to do this very carefully to make sure I didn't get my bubbles dirty. And you can see here what I mean about that faucet. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take care of that. Is that better? Here I'm showing you I decided I needed the whole leg. I ripped the cotton out, I ripped the legs out, I got aggravated, and then I'll go ahead and fix it. So I'm just reattaching them at the knee with some wire so that the knees will bend the way that I want. I'm not doing a very neat job with the wire, partly because I'm lazy and partly because I figured I could just cover it with more bubbles so you wouldn't see it anyway and it wouldn't matter. And yes, I did just glue the leg on the wrong side. I'll be fixing that momentarily. That's much better. So you can see all of the skeleton ended up in the tub except for the pelvic area. <laughs> that I actually saved in case I ever need a pelvic bone for some sort of project. And now I'm covering those wires. And as you can see, our little peepee -pee faucet has turned silver, which does not make it look any better than it did before. Now I'm taking some beads that I got from Joann's and the Dollar Tree. I believe the big ones are from Joann's and the small ones from Dollar Tree. Um, I could be wrong, they might both be from Dollar Tree, but either way, they're clear and they have sort of an iridescent finish on them, which you can't really see on camera. And then I'm also using some pearls that are a little bit bigger than the largest iridescent beads because I wanted some variation of size. I like the color variation as well. My mom didn't like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me if you like the pearls or if I should have just stuck with the iridescent ones. 
And that one I almost burned myself with, but I managed not to get a blister. Yay me! So now I'm just going in with some copper paint. This is also the craft paint by Arteza. And I'm just going to paint the feet on the bottom to make them look a little prettier. And you can see there that my paint scratched off. Unfortunately, I wasn't thinking and I used the acrylic paint and it does not stick to plastic. Now here I am just deciding that our skeleton needed a little bit of bling, so we're giving them some fancy toes and fingernails, as well as a copper tooth. And you can see here that our inappropriate faucet has also turned copper. Still not making it better. Now here I am just finishing up the aging of the bones with some more of that watered down black paint and my wet wipe. And I decided these toes and fingernails just weren't fancy enough. So I'm taking some stickles and I am decorating the feet. Why did I say decorating? Anyways, stickles is like a 3D glitter paint thing if you've never heard of it. But I think everybody's probably heard of it. <laughs> And then I decided I was going to put some in the eye sockets too because I felt like they just were not fancy enough for this bougie bathtub boy. Wow, I cannot talk today. Here I am taking some Mod Podge to fix our scratchy bathroom issue. Nope. Scratched up bathtub issue. Wow. Uh, I fixed the scratches first, of course, and then I'm just going over the whole thing with a layer of Mod Podge, including the feet. And that probably doesn't hurt, uh, you know, with having the extra Mod Podge on the feet. It'll help them stay on better anyway. Was Wow, that was bad. Here I'm just showing you I decided to add some stones to the eyes because they just still weren't fancy enough. And then I also noticed the bathtub was too shiny from the Mod Podge, so I went ahead and put some chalk paint over the top of it. Here is where I'm miming that I removed the faucet, because apparently I didn't think just telling you in this voiceover was going to be sufficient. Now I'm also just covering up the bad spot with some bubbles so that it doesn't look weird. And we're done. I'm going to go ahead and insert some beauty shots for you guys.